All right, how's everybody doing today? Today we're gonna to do a DIY uh, on how to store your abundance of fishing rods. So I've done the roof rack. If you should look up here, I've got the roof rack. Uh, the problem with the roof rack is sometimes you'll get a rod tip in the garage door. So uh, I figured out a way that we're gonna leverage our garage door today uh, using inch and a half PVC pipe. So you can buy a stick PVC pipe for about 16 bucks. I chose the easy way and just bought these little couplers, inch and a half. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take just a drill. We're gonna drill a hole through this. That's all you're doing. You're drilling a small hole in it. And then we're gonna screw these to the garage door and you'll see here shortly what that finished product looks like. And hope to get rid of about 20 rods sitting on the garage door. All right, as you can see, I've already done some prep work, so just to make this video not super long, uh, but if you look down here, I've got all my inch and a half connectors drilled with those holes in it. Uh, we got uh, some screws. We're gonna screw it to the garage door. Uh, stay tuned and you'll be able to see what that finished product looks like. All right, all we've got is some self-tapping screws. We're gonna screw it into the door here. Again, pretty easy. All you're doing is drilling some holes. Less than 20 bucks, you'll be able to uh, store some fishing rods safely and securely on your garage door. Makes it kind of nice. Like I said, they're on there pretty solid. Uh, solid and secure, no problems at all. Again, I did self-tapping uh, self screws, that way they go into the aluminum pretty easy. It's a good way to uh, beat the heat, stay indoors. Luckily my uh, garage has a little bit of air conditioning in it, so. And 
and I'm putting them on the middle one and the outers here. That way, uh, I'll show you what you can do to even get more rods into it. I'm gonna throw one more up here and stack some rods in there so you can see what it looks like. All right, so as you can see, all we did is screw these straight into the garage door here. And I've got four on that panel and I will do four more uh, on the bottom panel. And then up top, I'm gonna do a couple up there just for some of my longer crappie rods. Uh, but we're gonna stick some rods in there so you can see kind of what that looks like. So pretty, so pretty easy. And I have them in rod socks, so it just makes it a little bit easier to uh, go ahead and put them in there. And I kind of do a little bit of alternating here, so. Quick, easy way to store some rods, keep them safe. I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer here. All right, so if you see on this side, you can actually double them up by just running them through here. And you're storing just as many on one panel. All right, so if you look, literally you've got your fishing rod safe and secure. I'm gonna go ahead and open the door so you can see what that looks like. The good part about it, keeps them safe. If there's a car parked in here, you can grab them off without a problem. No car, easy to grab. You can take them off, no problems at all but quick, easy hack there. So stay tuned. I'll show you all the finished product here uh, in a couple minutes.
Again, pretty easy job to do to protect your uh, fishing rods. And it doesn't hurt your uh, garage door at all or anything like that, so. All right, let's throw some more rods up there. All right, so again, less than $20. You've got them safe and secure up against the garage door there. Protect your investment. So I'm gonna open this garage so you can see what it looks like. But literally, all in, uh, protected, out of the way. Ain't gonna damage them or anything like that. So again, if you like what you've seen, like, subscribe. I'm gonna be doing some DIYs. Uh, you'll be seeing some fishing, uh, fresh water and salt water, both on this channel. Thanks again for watching.